We're coming to you live. Like Mamba Pabil, SABC One, Emzanzi for sure. Uchel no mango no se u Alicia unkanto amakamami. Bugeli suti abatenga ba ningi pele ba tswele ubunzi ma. Bogo ngagwa zipele bogoz police njengo ba isimo somno tosi logo sintenga ntenga isinzu gune isinzu. Kote ngabe yini ge esinga kono guti si zenzi tina saba tengi. E ogu semande e tu fruiti e ugu zipele sikuaz ugu sisi pegane na lesimo esinzi ma esi pegane na sola eningizim Afrika. Aga sisi zona kumbi gugu tuti nwe. Ia isinda ngo kusinda ijo kwe maikle naba tengi beli lo mzans Afrika. Oko eli la katleleka kwi meko enzima yezo koko sholto tobala mishale. Se inga majela likela ipange ngu vimba iso nyusa iriporate. Izi inga lenzala kwi malimbole kwe ye pange ngu vimba. Ebole kisanga ayo ez nyi pangi. Lonzala esha uluwa zezo pangana ez njengo FNP, Standard Bank, APSA nezi nyezi kele kile yo kule ingu vimba. Ile fika itwe taki. Kwa ema kwenye batengi kumachala abo emoto izindu na wenawa pina amanyi ya machala umtu anawo. Against this backdrop, the MPC decided to increase the repurchase rate by 50 basis points to 8.25% per year with effect from the 26th of May 2023. Na kwi ripore itepengezwe kuchanjele bangi ngu vimba ipinde ya lo nyu saizi nga lenza la kwi malimboleko. Ishi ya batengi beza la nzime kishawle na majala abo inga kumbi awe zindu. Imalese si pata la manji, aesafani na lena nsakala ukutata ipondi. Ipondi hami se kupugenga over 1,500, which I never had and I never budgeted for. Mkoka more than 2,000 extra. Uh, to what I was paying uh, 2018. Things affect me to just up to no decimal point because I'm paying a point and I'm told of interest rates which are going up every time. And then the food, I buy food every second week. Every fortnight I have to spend close to a 2,000, you see. So it's just a hell of a lot for me. Aba kushishino lo kutengi sange zindu baka pele ukuba liya lisonyuka ina nilaba tenga banga saku hazuk melana na machala abo. Ndoleyo ibanyanza ila ukuba bapene le kutengi seni mizi abo ingega tinjwa zipanki. Ama trende suwabo na yomanje kwi property market. Uguti ama sela akona manini. Aba ni mbabo batenga i property market. In 2021, where interest rate pay pants are cool, and then abandoning batata ama bond, the excitement banga sokuti yangu dishale na po unompele. Manje ama interest rate a kupuwe ka cool. Abe enga yeganga ukunyuka ama itabiso panze ayo yonke indo etengwa ayo. O kukuninwe na lipu unga lentengi so yezo limo i National Agricultural Marketing Council. Inga ilo ye lipu unga ibonise ukuba ama itabiso okutia ato mengentanya na kwe shume kuluini ukususe lango novemba wenyako pelileyo ukuzok chongo januari kulonyaka. Before you would go to the shop with 500 rands and at least to full money groceries as a you know as our last for about a month but now 500 rand is just for a day because of the high prices but ai siya hlupheka yaz siya kusokola ne msebenza yikho izinto ziyanyuka khona manje mina ame in drive driver like uber ne but ai shikunzi petrol yabiza imali ngiyenza mariphelela yonke ku petrol 
ingali kwezo koko shows kutaza ukuba abatengi ba chite imali ya bongeli shweli pkali. Nobu tule konukuze imajana ya bo iye mgama ekfeze kiseni mfuno. Zite zingali abatengi mabaitukweze lo majana banayo baisebe nzise ngobo na tule ukumelana nesimo esinzi mesha melene naso kwezo koko show. Noba tembu zanzi yilu ngelo lako. Asbonga ya kule ngale ombigo mbugeli. Eni manjege asamgele izi vagashe zetu ukulu magabanzi pelangezi. Ntu esi ngazenza tinajenga batengu guti. Loko esi nago ogu ngane epagete. Ngu hambe inle la ende pela uguze skuwa zupilisa imindeni yetu. Sinaye u Gerald Mwandiambira yenage ungu kwepeshe. Kwezo gupato kwezi mali. Sibe na enosis kabelo teme yenagu vila gui hovisi le credit ombudman. Lady and gentlemen, lady I'll start with you. Kunja nsis kabelo welcome to the show. And Kosi, I'm trying to do the whole Zoom thing. That's Kosa though. Kosa, yes. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. But Gerald, how are you? It's so short of you, so to say, Mal. Yo, good Zoom, good Zoom. Good Raf. Good Raf, right? But Kabelo, I mean, look at that insert. What are some of your, what is your input after watching what we've just seen? A lot of people complaining about the fact that the 500 rand that you used to have mm. would literally buy you groceries that would push you, if you are single, for up to a month. That's true. But nowadays, you're not even coming out there with onions and any luxuries. We're just discussing four items that mm. you literally come out of, out of the shop with. Mm, no, it's scary. Mm. I, I don't want to lie. It is scary. And we feel it as well. I mean, it doesn't mean that when we're sitting here, we know any better or we're yeah, not feeling the boom. pinch. We are really feeling the pinch. And right now, it's about time that I think we are all looking at our finances and really looking at where can we change? What changes mm. can you make? Um, can And if at all, you're a person who was like intimidated to speak to your credit providers, now is the time to actually say, you know what? I'm no longer intimidated. I'm going to go and actually speak up and say, help me because really I am mm. drowning. But Kabelo, you know, where? they actually willing to listen because now I'm mm. sure I mean they're still recovering from COVID they need to be collecting less or imagine. No definitely I mean I think that even Gerald will speak on this the yeah. fact that um, with credit providers I mean um, they are understanding to the point to, to the fact that everybody is feeling the pinch right now if I have done my homework as Cabello and I sit down and I'm honest with myself and say this is what I actually can do when you go and approach the credit providers you approach them with facts mm. you approach them with that real numbers don't say I'm just going to suck a Who's number Plan. You basically are saying, one. Exactly. We are adults right now. You know, as, as an adult, adulting, is, adulting is all about admin, yay, guys. Yay, it's all about yay. admin. So we got to do the admin. We gotta, you have to put in the work and actually say, I am going to go there with facts and with, with my facts and say, okay, guys, what do you have for me? What can we mm. do to resolve this issue? Mm, Gerald, I mean, we just saw Ubabule Sejahanya. Obviously, mm. he's been very permanent and prominent yeah. on our screens mm. for the past couple of months. I mean, the interest rates have literally been increased twice this year why is that now after so long that we hadn't been seeing these interest rates a lot of people are curious Gerald why now look I think you know they've been using interest rates as a way to control inflation yeah but our inflation is all imported so you end up punishing the people who are in South Africa, and that's what they've done. Mm -hmm. You know, 8.25% repo rate is, is really high. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that man is signature is on the money. Yes. So he doesn't know what to feel. Because <laughs> how do I feel it if my, my signature is there? If you're signing the no, money no, that no, the no, banks no. are going to give to Anisha and That man cannot be buying Gerald. petrol where we buy it. Because Ish. for the ordinary South African citizen, it, it's, it's reached a point where even a financial advisor who had given you good advice... It's not working because normally if I speak to you and I say, look, you're borrowing, you're buying a home, you must borrow at 75% affordability of what the bank offers you. And Alicia, you said, okay, Gerald, I really believe you. I'm going to do that. And you did that in 2018. Now you're looking at 40% up and Gerald told you to prepare for 25%. Mm. So we've reached a point where even the best advice cannot stand and we've reached a point where I think we need to start seeing a lot more empathy. Mm -hmm. But we've already seen all the major banks are starting to report what they call increased credit impairment. Mm -hmm. Impairment means people are not paying. Yes. <laughs> They've yes. stopped. And, and unfortunately, the reality is when things get too bad, people start switching off one thing, the next, the next. And, and that's where we are. And as much as Kabelo, you're saying we ought to talk to our credit providers, 
probably the person who's on the phone with you is also going through the same thing you're going through. You, mm. you, you, mm. you, you. So now, Gerald, I mean, with the with the fifty percent ba uh, fifty basis points increase, I mean, and the prime rate mm. uh, lending now at eleven point mm. seven mm. five percent, what ripple effect does this then have on the average consumer who's paying for a bond, who's paying for a vehicle, who's paying for school, who's paying for every other thing? People have run out of money because in real terms, inflation has eroded your income. So you're actually earning, Alicia, less than you were earning in 2018 because of inflation. On top of that, interest rates have gone up. So we've got a situation where most consumers, it's time to say, look, we can't cope and we need a solution. Yes, um, the Reserve Bank governor said, no, this is probably the last interest rate because he knows if he, if he increases it, one more time, Nami, I'll join you and Lisha and we'll go and we'll toy toy because we cannot take it so much. And I think we need to start realizing that using inflation, um, using interest rates as an inflationary control measure has failed. Absolutely. And, and, we, need, and we need something else. We need yeah. to go back to basics. But as consumers right now, we need to start going into that bank statement. I understand, I went through my bank statement yesterday. And I saw my eight rent fifty. <laughs> I was like, okay, what are these eight rent fifty? I don't know. Someone, I might have used my card somewhere. Mm. But I, I phoned the bank and I said, these ten eight rent fifties, I want them back. Yes, because I don't know what they for. Start going. So you're saying we need to go through those back to basics. Mm. Go back to the bank statement. Mm. Even when they put bank charge three hundred and fifty rent, pull up the brochure. Make sure it's three hundred and fifty because these banks sometimes they make mistakes. Mm. But we don't want that to happen. The ninety-nine and, and, and rent yes. mistakes. And you're talking about the prime rate being eleven point two five percent when repo is eight point two five percent. That three percent difference is profits to the banks. Mm. The banks are always okay. They're sorted. Yeah. So so at the end of the day, right now we need to have a conversation between consumers and the government and business and say we can't do this to our people anymore mm. because as you mm. said 500 rand mm. if you're a family of four I've got a family of four you, you basically can't get anything it doesn't no go it doesn't go anything mm. like Gabelo, please tell us then what is a practical advice to those people that are then suffering this uh, this double repo um, 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 uh, the recent uh, the interest the interest hikes how are they paying off their bonds? How are they paying oh. off their houses? Because back when they took the loans, they were okay with it. These are people that maybe have got three years, two years, or even a couple mm. of months mm. left on their loans. They're about to lose their houses. Oh. They're about to lose. I mean, this is a lifetime savings type of thing. What do you advise such people? You know, honestly, um, sometimes I get scared when mm. I get asked because we do get those queries from at, the, at the credit ombud. And consumers are literally like, okay, Gabriel, I don't know what to do anymore because now I am sitting at um, a deficit when it comes to my income and mm. what do I then do because my expenses now are so high what do I do and as much as yes we, we do say uh, approach your credit provider mm. speak to your credit provider but now we're on survival mode you mm. look at what can I let go and, and in all honesty, right now, that's exactly what is going on. You are looking at, and mind you, within the frustration, if you tell a person that, yes, cut off on the entertainment, mm. cut, people will tell you, but I'm frustrated. I need something that's going to actually mm. make, make me feel good. Off. Exactly, because mm. it is mm. too much mm. to handle. Mm. And so what do you even say to a person like that? Mm. It is honestly um, something that, um, like you are saying, Gerald, that the government needs to do something because honestly, consumers are right now living in a, in a, under so much of pressure. And it is hard to advise somebody who's living under pressure to say that cut off on all your subscriptions, mm. cut off on all of these things, hey. because then you're like thinking, okay, okay. so I'm going to get home to darkness, number one, low shady. And then <laughs> <laughs> number two, I don't have, because you, you said I should cut down on entertainment. Now I don't have all of my subscriptions. I can't even watch TV. I can't, what do I then do? So I sit there and I am miserable. So what do I do? Mm. So I guess, honestly, right now we are all on survival mode and we have to mm. actually do the things that we normally would not want to do. Mm, stable but critical, ne? In <laughs> it keeps getting kuningia. We're coming back shortly after this break. You can contact us on 11 or 714-0670. We're back shortly after this right now. <laughs>
back. You're still watching the Lumina Laku Lag Mamba Fabili SAPC one in number to call in 0117140669. Alternatively, 7140670. You can also email us your thoughts at consumer at sabc.co.za on Facebook. My guest today, Opo Gerald Mwandiambe Ranyamazu Shosho Visei Mali alongside us is Gabelo Deme Ovelegui Office Le Credit Ombudsman. Now, gentlemen, well, Gerald, Gerald, I mean, we were talking at, uh, uh, during the break that there's really nothing that we can advise consumers because we cannot determine what's going to happen in the future of South Africa. But practically, there mm. has to be some things okay. that we can tell consumers to start saving. Maybe okay. don't go for the premium packages on your entertainment. Okay. Downgrade to certain things. Please give us a few uh, practical examples that some okay. of us that actually can still do. The first practical is do your budget. This okay. time it's not about pretending. How do I do my budget? Uh, sit down and see everywhere your, where your money is going. Mm -hmm. Okay, Know where your money is going. Number two, bring out that bank statement, compare it to the budget, see where the money is leaking. Mm -hmm. There's leakages somewhere. If you've got more than one bank account, guys, you don't need more than one. It's time for you to close one account because those accounts are charging you bank charges. Mm. Every time you swipe, it doesn't... Doesn't and make even sense. if you're not using yes. it, it's accumulating so, money. So back to basics, budget, bank statement, back to basics, stock fail. Mm. If you're not a member of a stock fail and things are like this, I will write when, because <laughs> things are tough right now. Right now, things are so bad that the other day, I think I was at the petrol station in 500, and then I was holding the new money. I just come from the ATM. <laughs> so it's 50 rand. So I just looked at him and he looked at me. And I'm like, hey, these guys are tricking us. <laughs> the bank is tricking us. But the reality is budget, go back into your bank statement, mm -hmm. stock fell. Save with people, save with family. It's, it's better when we're together. You mm. know what I mean? If you've got insurance policies, don't cancel them, mm. but maybe reduce the cover so that at least you're covered but your premium comes down. Mm. So don't cancel your medical aid, don't cancel insurance policy, but talk to your broker to say, look, I can't afford this premium right now, mm. but reduce it so that I still have cover. And then if you start doing some of those things, you can survive. But the beautiful thing is, as South Africans, we find the funny side of all of this in that we, we love to laugh, but it's no laughing matter. Right now, mm. we're in, a, in an environment where very few people are immune to what's going on. And mm. I think we need to also think about the less fortunate. Now, if people, middle class, are feeling the pinch, think about someone in the informal settlement. Think, think about, about someone people living on grass. Think about Gerald. a widow. Think about an orphan. How are they surviving? Mm. And we need mm. to really get some sort of intervention. Obviously, government cannot give away free money, but we need to start really looking at the situation because I think for most people, they've reached that point where they can't cope anymore. Mm. And, 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 and it's, it's difficult. Mm. I, 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 it pains me to give advice sometimes because, you know, what's happening now is now the get-rich schemes have come up. Mm. Every day I'm mm. getting a call about a new scheme or is this thing for real where people are also taking advantage Definitely. of others in this tough time. Kabelo, mm. look, uh, the latest Credit Bureau Mon uh, Monitor report show that inquiries initiated by actual consumers looking for credit accounted for 13.35 million of all those inquiries. Now, mm. these figures were recorded even before the 50 basis points uh, rate, uh, uh, repo rate uh, increase was actually announced. How would you then advise consumers uh, with regard to seeking credit when they are unable to pay for their current uh, uh, debts? It's, it's, it's funny how as much as credit is getting more expensive, but consumers, we are running to credit oh, to yeah. survive. But right? how? We live in some hand to mouth. <laughs> yes, we are. But what consumers mm. are thinking is that right now I don't have mm. anything, mm. but I need something. Mm. I need to mm. actually be able to buy food and mm. get by for the rest mm. of the month. Mm. And what they, what, what we are actually doing as consumers now, we are, we are actually just thinking, okay, do I get a credit card or do I take a short-term loan or do I take a long-term mm. loan? Oh, no. Instead, let me get an, an overdraft because that mm. is revolving. Mm. Then I know that each and every single month I've got an extra amount of money in my bank account because mm. with an overdraft you know it's, it's it's continuous month to month but we don't realize that mm. you still have to pay that back it's yeah. still debt it's still credit mm. and obviously because it's revolving the interest rates are higher mm. and um when it comes to that though and and i have to say i understand i fully understand and i cannot say i'm not gonna pretend like i don't even understand mm. the situation mm. what all we are saying is as as, as as the credit ombud or financial advisors and, and 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 all of that we are saying that just be cautious mm. you know be cautious know exactly what you're getting your 
yourself into. Right now, I mean, I think that each and every single time when you go on social media, that you will always get an ad about uh, reduce your installments. Mm. Um, you get those ads that no, we can help you from um, a seventy-five thousand rand. We can mm. reduce your 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 debt to five thousand rand. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, here I am and I'm desperate. And you get these ads. And mm. obviously, I'm going to click on that mm. link, thinking, oh my goodness, this is my saving mm. grace. But it is not. Mm. So we need to be extra careful right now because as much as we are feeling this the pinch, the scammers are also feeling the pinch. Yo, mm. yo, yo. I know we're between a rock and a tight like a. Very very, mm. very, very tight place, aren't we? Uh, to Mega in East London, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, welcome to the show, Sister Hi, Sister. Thank you for taking the call. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Sanazam. I just want to also comment on the hike in Um, I'm feeling the pain out of the house. So there is a thing raising the pain above. Because if it comes to come to the state, um, you can number of things you already have a problem. So, uh, it's a tough time, uh, to speak for us in the action. And, uh, just like on our book, but it's a big thing that might not be considered. All right, okay. Uh, this is too mega. We're struggling to hear mm. you properly with your line there, Sanasam, but I think uh, we heard something she was yeah. commenting. Thank you so much, Nan. Um, she was commenting about, of course, uh, the tough times that we mm. do have. And I mean, she's basically saying that everybody's feeling it. But of course, there are some of those things that you can look back into as individuals. And I think she was speaking about self responsibility. <coughs> we need to stop living beyond our means. <coughs> Gerald, would you agree with that? Look, I agree with that. And it's about accountability. But mm. I think, you know, we also need to respect people because, um, you know, July Savings Month is coming up. We all know this. We all know we need to save. Mm. But we're now in a situation where it's, not, you know, a lot of the things happening are beyond our control. What are we you saving? Know, I cannot control the interest <laughs> rates. And if I was saving, the money I would have been ultimately saving is now being used mm. as an expense. Mm. And that's where the challenge is in that, you know, a lot of the current environment has got nothing to do with our behavior, but everything to do with the economy. Mm -hmm. And that's where we need to start holding the people who are responsible for the economy accountable mm. to say look the rent losing value I, I go to work every day i don't do anything to change the value of the mm. rent you know so we need to start really having that conversation but in terms of you know being a financial advisor and saying Ankara, what you need to do is uh, to stop buying brands <laughs> hey when was the last time i, I bought a brand nobody's what's a brand hey, who's still <laughs> buying a brand you know what i'm saying <laughs> Unless I've got a tender, I ain't buying no brand. No. You know, we all know we've reached a point where in the supermarket, I've never seen so many people walking around with newspapers in the mm. supermarket. Mm. Specials. Mm. What because do you mean specials? I've seen them with calculators in the trolley, calculating <laughs> how much they're about to pay at the till, Gerald. We're going to leave it there for now. We're going to continue with this discussion after the break. Bugali, if you're also feeling the pinch, do call us. We're coming back shortly after this. We're going down. <laughs> cost of living no guti yonki into isi ya biza no guti ke izi pige wena izi nto njengo mtengi onga za mapelu gutu inginze uguze uwa za gutu ukubege upile upile se no mdeni wako let's go to the callers now usis figile use richard spain toka za yanga giti sakwa mgele ochele ni umbuzo na mbon umbuzo wa mje ngita ye gile la na gita wei ipondi enju eseja ganyele loon I interesting point. 
Mm. 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 So, mm. so mm. Mm. no debt review, Ganjalo Ganjalo, Gazu, Gutu Kalile, Epen, Quayo, Kuluma, Nabu, Abona, Manju, Gutu Nabo, Bag, Eteles, in Equalet. Okay, stand up. I'm going to let the lapong mabona go to work. I'm going to pay back to ama options and now ima pieces kabel. I mean, listen to that. Like literally, what you were saying that the consultant that you're talking to is feeling the pinch is going through the same thing. <laughs> it's not going to advise you. Like give you good advice. Example, because, case in point. Yes, because I'm thinking that I want my commission as well. So if I give you more credit, I get more commission, oh. which means that I will survive the month. You might not, but hey, you know, that, 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 and I love the fact that you mentioned debt counseling because um, I think that at this moment, um, for consumers to protect their assets, that would be probably be the option for most consumers to go for. Mm. And it is, it is very important that we do our homework when it comes to debt counseling. There are pros, there are cons, Absolutely, obviously, I was about when, to say. when it comes to debt counseling. Mm. But at this present, moment you know that you've got a professional who will assist you and also protect your assets at the same time and you will also be able to actually have a month like your your monthly expenses will also be covered mm -hmm. so it will not only be your your debts that will be covered but also your monthly expenses and right now as, as consumers honestly if at all you find yourself that you know what I manage I cannot cope any longer mm -hmm. then rather go for a debt counseling but do so with a registered and regulated debt counselor go onto the website of the national credit regulator and call the national credit regulator, making sure that whoever is going to assist you is going to make sure that they actually do the right the, the, the right job. Because the last thing that you want is for someone to scam you mm. while they're saying they're trying to assist you. Mm. You don't want that. At which point, Gerald, should somebody then start saying, you know what, like Usis Figile, you know what, I'm not coping. And we thank her for that. <coughs> she came on air and she admits mm. it. And she's even, you know, tried to give examples of how she tried to, to rectify the situation. I would but say that only got her into further debt. I think you need to sit down with a financial planning professional, not a financial advisor who's trying to sell you a policy. Yeah. Someone who's actually going to just look at your budget, look at your spending habits, and try and find a solution. Mm -hmm. If that fails, then you might get a referral to a debt counselor. Okay. But before you go to debt counselor, speak to a financial ad planning professional. And yes, you're going to have to pay so something to that person to help you, mm -hmm. you know? but they will probably be in a situation to give you a clear picture of what actions which you need to take. Mm -hmm. And then once you've done that, you can move on. The other challenge right now when people are struggling is this thing they call offsetting, okay? Now, if you, Alicia, have got a credit card, overdraft, home loan, vehicle uh, finance. solar loan, vehicle <laughs> finance, all with the same bank. Solar okay? loan. Yeah. <laughs> Solar power it's loan. It's a thing. Okay. Yeah. So, so now you have a situation where all your products are with one bank. Mm -hmm. And the one thing you didn't do when you took out all those loans, you didn't read the policy, which says that should you start struggling, we can start shutting down. Okay. So right now, if you have a lot of credit with one bank, you're now at risk of offsetting where oh they can take gosh. one month money from your current account and close your credit card without your permission because oh, wow. it's in the contract because it's uh, they have that right because and the thing is they can see your life and they can see that you're starting to skip so that's the danger i've already seen some people saying look the bank came in they just closed my overdraft without asking mm. they can do that they they close my they reduce my credit card limit you know sometimes you're living on your credit card limit yeah. every month yeah <laughs> and then this month is not working <laughs> what's going on you call the bank again hey, my, no. my, my credit card is not working what's going on they're like no we reduced your limit ha huh. Kanjan. Yeah. They can do that. Okay. So that's where we are right now with a lot of consumers where if you have a lot of products with one financial institution, they will start protecting their risk. Mm. So they will start de-risking from you. Mm. So they can start shutting down some of your products and start taking away some of the benefits which you are used to, which is one of the things which is a risk when you put all your eggs in one financial institution. Mm. I mean... So isn't this then going to perpetuate reckless lending mm. and people running into informal uh, ways of getting credit like Obama Shonis? That's exactly what then will happen. And 
by doing that. I mean, the reason why we always say don't go for Mashonisa or loan sharks or informal uh, uh, lenders is yeah. because to protect you as a consumer because the interest rates, again, if you think that um, the, the current interest rate is high, go to a, a, a Mashonisa. 30%, 40. I'm telling you, and they will do it without even thinking mm. twice, without mm. blinking, because mm. remember, mm. they do mm. not check your risk. They mm. do not do an assessment no. to check whether, yes, can mm. you afford this mm. date, can you not afford this date? And then the next month you go back again because you're thinking, oh no, but I've just paid you back, but as much as I paid you back, but I still need the money back because I can't live off um, mm. uh, what I, um, I already have. So it is, it does honestly, mm. um, it is concerning that um, a number of consumers will then go for those informal and unregistered um, uh, lenders. And, and that honestly, it runs a risk because even if you come to the credit ombud, if at all they are not registered, there is nothing you can, we help. can do. But you can though approach the National Credit Regulator, but they can only assist you if the Mashonisa is registered because they, 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 they do actually have that where uh, Mashonisas can actually register with the National Credit Regulator okay. to ensure, of course, that they do charge the correct interest rates and they do not overcharge. Mm. Uh, I mean, Gerald, very quickly before we go to another break, how can then consumers reduce their spending by looking at their needs and obviously wants? And people sometimes op often like obscure mm. the line between needs and wants. <laughs> Look, you need to change your lifestyle. You need to start looking at your diet. One day you must have fasting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you are, I don't know whether you are praying and fasting, but one day is fasting. One day you are having inkomas. Okay? Okay, one day is chicken. Okay? One day is beef. And then the other three days you have to make a plan. Oh my. That's the reality. Mm. That's the mm. reality mm. of many mm. people. Now imagine if you're also having e lunch books for your children. So what government is trying to help. I, I saw they're doing school feeding scheme. Yeah. And guess what? They're even doing feeding scheme now for varsity and uh, and oh, Tibet nice. students. Mm. That's good. It's a good thing, but it shows how bad things are. Mm. Mm. If mm. you're now having mm. to do feeding scheme at UJ. UJ. <laughs> Imagine that means students at that level are literally going to school without anything in their stomachs. Yo Mbogeli Kasi being Bella is cut. We're coming back shortly after this break. Alternatively, or one one seven one four zero double six nine consumer at sabc.co.za. Those are the magic numbers on us to as well as an email consumer at sabc.co.za. Mbogeli, we are talking about the high cost YMP Loguti Wang and Belaka, Emma Pagetini, Itimali, Nomusa to Ifaga, Gubengati Pagetini, Nembob, Oscar Zele, when Uguti Champe is Tori Sako City, Gisheli Lana, no Gerald, the Mondi Ambiro, is social of the Kopesha, where Mali, no Scabello Demi, Ovela, Ehovisi, Le Credit Ombud. Now, Gabelo, maybe talk to us about how um, how all this actually affects your credit score because then people have been defaulting, mm. uh, people haven't been servicing their debts, others are not coming forward to talk to their creditors to try and rectify their situation. They've just literally just let sleeping dogs lie and hoping that the problem is going to resolve itself in a couple of years. <laughs> in, in, in all honesty, um, I mean, with a credit profile, the reason why there is a credit profile in a credit bureau is to track you as a tr as a consumer and how you actually conduct your uh, your credit mm -hmm. so if at all I'm skipping a month or I'm reversing that debit order that's what we sometimes do it's mm -hmm. actually considered as a skipped payment so therefore it will reflect negatively on your credit profile mm -hmm. so it will affect you um, and I think that's also part of the reason why then uh, some consumers would say okay fine now it's fine I, I won't need because mm -hmm. that's what I actually hear mm -hmm. when we go when when we actually go on uh, when I actually go and we do these uh, uh, consumer workshops and we are doing um, um, we, we are doing workshops and uh, giving education to consumers mm -hmm. I promise you some consumers say no but it's fine I don't care because I'm not going to use credit in the future mm -hmm. but you don't know what the future holds and therefore some consumers that's exactly where they are right now they're just like I don't care about my credit I just need to survive mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. so it does affect your credit score negatively and mm -hmm. when it does that it means that in future when you really need to use credit let's let's not forget that credit is a tool mm -hmm. it is a tool that is that it was created to assist us as consumers that if you cannot if you don't have the lump sum right now you can go to credit and then credit will 
aid you in your situation. Mm. So that is the use of credit. So if at all right now you are affecting your credit score, you are not paying your debt, mm. and you are making late payments, those are the kind of things that will affect you. We forget that as consumers. I mean, it's like, for instance, right now, if I say to you, Alicia, please borrow me 100 Rand, and then I promise that next week I'm going to pay it back. If I don't pay it back, our relationship is not going to be good. Oh, no. And it doesn't feel good for you either. Exactly. For, for the fact that I made a promise to you, but I'm not mm. keeping that promise. And that's exactly how it is right now. When I come to you, I come to you because I need your help. You are going to the credit providers and you are saying, I need your help. And the credit provider is saying, no problem. I will give you the aid that you need. And then tomorrow you decide, I'm just not going to pay you because, hey, you, you've got money, hey? <laughs> Una, you money anyway. I mean, we bank after exactly. all, right? So you've got all the money. I mean, my little amount of money is nothing to you. But it does affect you as a consumer at the end of the day. You know, Gerald, thank mm. you for that, Gabelo. Now, I, I, I just want to bring in the other side, which is a positive thing. Gerald, you know, we are freelancers. Most of us uh, here mm. are, are actually freelancers. And uh, most of them, uh, some of them, the credit scores are not okay mm. because mm. most companies will not take people mm. that are freelancers. So they live literally with paying cash for mm. everything. Is that recommendable f to ensure that you stay out of debt and also <laughs> not worried about your credit score then? Look, I think, you know, for self-employed and freelancers right now, they're coping better because they're used to it. Yeah. You know, they're used to life, I, I life. life happening and yeah, not having so money Coca cash time, it's in. You know, whereas <laughs> people on a salaried environment are, are finding it a lot more difficult to cope because of that. And as you said, yeah. you know, with credit, here's the problem. I've seen people who are now okay, they're earning good money, but they can't buy their dream house because of a 300 rand store account, which mm. they didn't pay 10 years ago. Uh. Now here's the worst part. The store is gone. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 no. you, so you can't even go back and say I paid them back because you can't find them because you didn't pay them back. No, 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 but Gabelo, why is it, hasn't that debt prescribed? No, 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 no. I was about to get home oh, in that case, Gerald. No, you are, you are confusing us. No, remember, you, so you've got a court judgment. A court judgment does not disappear. Okay. A, a, you know, you, the debt can be prescribed, but the court judgment remains. Okay. Mm. For you to lift a court judgment, you need to go with a lawyer to say, I paid the debt. Uh. Now, here's the problem. I can't pay back Alicia because you didn't pay and she starved of hunger. Oh, because yes. of that 100 rent. Oh, my goodness. Yes. The debt collectors. Yeah. There must be a debt collector somewhere. <laughs> the debt collector who bought the debt yes. also died of hunger oh. because Ish. you never paid. So you must realize that what you're doing today can have mm. unintended consequences mm. in the future. If you are struggling with your finances right now, the best advice is to simply communicate with those you owe mm. and tell them the reality. I know they will bark, they will huff, they will puff like wolves who want to blow their <laughs> house, your house away. But at the end of the day, they want their money back. Ish. So as long as you can give, give money, keep money paying, then you're okay. The worst thing you can do is stop paying. Rather mm. keep showing them that I'm struggling, but here's something, Yana, you know? Ish. But if you just say, I'm not answering your phones, you've saved their number as do not answer, or you've got the app <laughs> you've so that you them. block them. <laughs> hey, they are going to revenge, and their revenge will be punishment. Mm. That's a good move. Mm. <laughs> Ten years and they died of hunger. <laughs> Hi, Gerald. Okay, no, that's a scary example there. Let's go back to the callers. Put simple. Eh, guasha bi sense zwa kagi tiko zulu netel se wamge la babote len gabongu tu uste ya on the lines kagse zanja namlanj. Yeah, bo e bo e bo sis. Yeah, bo sis. Yeah. Go ahead, bab. Yeah, listen. I mean, la eh, when la eh, u u guza eh, u kupuwe na yo, u biza na yo.
Sebonga <laughs> 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 We're going to take a very quick ad break. We're coming back after this. We're talking about the high cost. Ugubiza kwempilo nugutura kwe zinto estolo. Sizwile njengo buputsipo esho eti inyama isingwa. All the staples basically, Kabelo, he's saying these things are literally out of reach. How do we survive when we cannot afford food staples? Whew, that is a tough one. <laughs> I, I wish, honestly, there was a simple way of just simply saying, oh, no, just because do one, Because nobody two, can three, say, go it. make rice. They can no. say, bake bread. Yes. But how are you going to make rice and samp and beans? I, I think that um, right now, a lot of us are moving away from brands. And I'm saying this even when it comes to food. Uh, yeah. If you're a person that was specific and like, no, I want this specific brand. Right now, it's about, I just want to be fed. Mm. If I can just eat, mm. that's all that really matters right now. Mm. And I think that also what we also need to do for this, this just this little while, make sacrifices, mm. right? And I'm going to go back to the entertainment, the wants, not the needs. We don't touch the needs. Stop but, going out to oh, restaurants. Thank you. Energy. Because takeaways take cost so much more. And Absolutely. sometimes what we do is that we on, on payday. We go and buy groceries, and then after that, for supper, we have takeaways. That's what we do. Mm. It's a no, it has become such a norm. And we don't want to break away from such traditions, but we don't realize exactly how much of an effect those, mm. those things so actually it's also, do. We need a, mind, a mindset change. Definitely. Type of. And sometimes we even forget about our, our contracts, whether it's a cell phone contract, whether it's a gym contract. And, and, and we forget that if at all I don't say to my, cell phone about, to my cell phone provider that, oh, no, I'm no longer going to continue with the contract, it runs from month to month basis. Yeah. And it's the same even with a gym contract. You need to actually stop those things and that's why I'm saying that adulting is all about admin you have to put in the work you need to put in the hours and you need to look at all of your contracts read them understand them and know exactly when my gym contracts come to an end a month before inform my gym I will no longer be contracting but why is the gym why is the gym around the that's exactly and the that's exactly nine nine. what I was going to say I mean you can easily <laughs> just jog you know it just saves you, you money know? why not yes. so cut down on those things I mean, and, and, and honestly they do as much as we may think that oh no but it doesn't make that much of a difference it does make a difference because i mean gerald now when you have to make a decision between petrol and electricity and bread mm. how are you going to make that decision as a consumer it's you very, need those things no it's very difficult I yeah think, you know people are cutting back and with, you know a lot, i read a study the other day that the two things which people have cut back the most on is gym contracts mm -hmm. as well as Entertainment. Sat satellite TV. Yes, mm. satellite TV. You know, yeah, so, we saw so that it, they've also happening. lost part of... People yeah. are making those choices. Mm. But, you know, if I cut back too much on these things, I can't sit and wait for something to happen. You know, I think, you know, that's where we are right now. We need to go back to basics again where we say, you know, maybe... Families need to come back together. Mm -hmm. I've seen people moving back home. Mm -hmm. And we need to make those tough decisions where someone gives up their car and people mm. go, hey, 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 life has it's happened to him. Mm. And they laugh for three it's days. Fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah. You're fine, you know. Mm. Um, mm. Take mm. out, I would say a lot of people have already cut back. I mean, sometimes the two-piece chicken is now hectic. <laughs> okay, two -piece chicken, two -piece what is this? You know, <laughs> what is this? It was 20 rand not long ago. So a lot of people have cut back on all those things. So with all due respect, most South Africans know what's going on. The biggest challenge is that there's too much bills for too little money. Ish. Mm. And that's the biggest problem, that no matter how much I cut back on myself, there's still too much life mm. yeah. to the money which I have. 
And I think that's where a lot of people need counseling. Mm -hmm. Because you're now getting a situation mm -hmm. where men are going into depression. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Breadwinners. Why are you saying men when not Gerald? Breadwinners. <laughs> breadwinners. <laughs> breadwinners. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, breadwinners. <laughs> breadwinners. Let's call you breadwinners as well. All the breadwinners yes. are now feeling the pressure. Mm -hmm. We are. Okay. And there's a lot of depression, anxiety, and suicide. People are giving up. You heard mm. that gentleman calling and saying, what am I supposed to do? Mm. You know, mm. you reach a point mm. where you wake up one morning and you don't have money for bread. What do you do? You know, and that's where we are now, where we really need mm. to start saying a national crisis has to be declared by government to say, how can we help our people? How can we save the nation? Because, you know, the Reserve Bank standing up and saying 8.25 repo rate, uh, <laughs> The, man, the, the, the guys in that monetary policy committee, I guarantee you, don't buy bread every day Ish. for themselves. Ish. And we now need to ask the people who have been enjoying life to put their, themselves in the feet of the most vulnerable people in South Africa and mm. realize that enough is, is enough. enough. Mm. You know, Gabelo, I mean, maybe talk to us very quickly about some of the bad financial traps uh, that actually consumers should be very cautious of, particularly during a time like this. I think that due to desperation as well, um, I did mention that um, we, we, we get people calling us and telling us no, but we can offer you lower uh, interest rates yeah. and lower installments. Mm. I mean, those are the kind of things that we need to really be cautious about. Mm. And right now, um, as much as you may get a call, I mean, um, just yesterday, in fact, I was talking to young people and they, I, I asked them simple, when a person calls you right now and says to you, we can offer you a cell phone contract for 300 rand, do you can you honestly say that no i know exactly what is going on on my finances because i do my budget so well that i can tell you that yes i've got that extra 300 rand we don't mm. and the truth is that as much as we think that people are budgeting a lot more people are not people budgeting, are not budgeting. And, and sometimes it could be that yes they don't know maybe how to budget mm. but uh, right now honestly um if at all you are considering even taking out credit know the numbers mm. do may do the numbers sit down and actually do the numbers i mean um we've got a simple right mm. well then in the national credit act has given us the right to read our agreements right yes. and the right to get Kabel. those agreements in a language that you understand mm. so there's actually no, no reason excuse. for you to actually say no i didn't read my contract you've got that right and you need to get that <laughs> agreement in a plain and simple language so you read it you understand it take it home there is a pre-quotation agreement mm. that you can actually take home it's it's valid for five days if you're not if you can honestly say that you know what i've done the numbers i can no longer do this then you simply go back to your credit provider and say no sorry i'm not interested in this mm. uh, specific uh, credit because i can't afford it and, yeah. so, and since alicia was still in youth month yeah very I quickly think, you know the youth with the instagram generation yeah are simply not living the reality oh, no. of south mm. africa mm -mm. they're still popping they're still living as though uh, insta not, life uh, no because they don't know what interest rates are <laughs> okay you know mm. and we need to start saying if you are you have youth in your family have that conversation to say slow down mm. Um, mm. because mm. sooner or later it will catch up with them as well mm. all right i can bogele unfortunately so if you get emma petel when you all tell us for joining us nama callers for calling and thank you so so much this is where we're going to leave it babu gen to a pegani and belu guti mali and uni spend a group and be very decisive about ugu Nina Imadien is a Benzaganja, no Malisha, U Alisha, Umacha, Utum Tanda, no Gamakaya, Nisaligashi. Keep spending and saving. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 